Hello and welcome to our exam room demo. In this demo, we will be featuring how to schedule a test from a client and candidate dashboard. Both client and candidate will log in to our exam room webpage and click sign in. We provide a single sign on for both client and candidate to make it easier for both roles to navigate our system. The client and the candidate will both enter their credentials and click sign in. For the sake of this demo, I have access to two roles of client and candidate. Based on your login credentials, you will have access to either one or the other. First, we will begin with clicking on client. When we log in, we are first brought to the client dashboard. This shows how many exams are scheduled and how many test takers are eligible to take the exams. Here we can see all the exams available for scheduling by the various candidates. First we will begin with adding an exam. Once you click on Add Exam, you are brought to the Exam Scheduler page. Here you will type in your exam, and you will type in the link that will direct your candidates to their exam. Next, you will choose a start date and an end date. This gives the candidate a window of time to schedule the exam to take it whenever it's first available for them. You also have the option of selecting a campus, a department, adding courses or subjects. On this page you will also determine the duration of the exam. For the sake of this demo, we will choose three hours. After you've typed in the test details, next you will be brought to the proctoring rules. We provide different levels of testing based on the level of stakes of the exam. If it's a high stakes exam, it would be a level 6. If it's a low stakes, it would be a level 1. If you do not choose a level 4 your exam, it will default to level 1. In these proctoring rules section, you have the option to change the controls for biometric authentication, which includes fingerprint scan, voice recognition, you also have the option to prohibit or allow screen sharing. You have the option to prohibit or allow certain secured browsers. You have the option of the proctor to cancel the test at any time. We also provide options of typing DNA, which is collected during candidate registration and verification of identity. The option of test recording, test delivery, live sessions. We also have an exam room 360 app which gives the onboarding agent and the proctor a 360 degree view of the candidate while they're taking their exam. The option of artificial intelligence to run in the background along with a live proctor and the option of one-on-one -on -one proctoring. Now with our secured browser option we also offer our ProVlog web browser our ProVlog web browser allows clients to further limit the access in which a candidate has during their exam. Clients have the choice of blacklisting or whitelisting certain websites. Same applies for certain applications. The use of any ports if they are allowed during the test. And the control of different shortcut keys and combinations used for items such as copy, paste, print. These will all be disabled based on the client's rules. Now that we are back on our client dashboard, we will continue to schedule our exam. You will click Next and your exam will be added to the cart. Next, you get to choose your examination rules. Again, Proctor can stop tests anytime. Students, if they're allowed to upload files or not. If you choose to make this an open book test, that is an option. Clients have the choice to allow max size windows or prohibit them, meaning a candidate cannot minimize a window if they want to browse onto another page. 
You can include any special instructions if there's extra time needed. Candidates have the option of a handheld calculator, drink on their desk, a whiteboard, bathroom breaks, online calculator, additional browser tabs, or earphones. And then you'll click Next. Now that we've chosen the rules for the exam, we can assign the exam to our candidate. In this case, we have one candidate. We also give the option of a bulk import, which can be accessed via an Excel spreadsheet or an LTI. And we will add this exam to the cart. This is our checkout. You can see this is the exam that we have scheduled. If you need to add any additional exams to that candidate, you can do so by clicking this button and proceeding with the process again of adding another exam. We will proceed to pay. Once we've made our payment, we are brought back to our dashboard where we can see our scheduled exam. From here, clients again can click the eye mark to see the exam details or delete the exam if it is no longer valid. From here, we will now sign in as the candidate. Now we are on the candidate dashboard. Here's the exam that we have scheduled for the candidate and assigned to that candidate. If the candidate scrolls down, they will see any other available exams scheduled or assigned to them by the testing administrator. Here on the candidate dashboard, we can see the test that has been assigned to them. When that candidate is ready to take the test, they will click Start Exam. Thank you, and this concludes our starting an exam demo video.